Hey everyone, this is the real Tony Stark. It's been a while since an update. Thought I'd uh, give you some more details on the Hawkeye bow and quiver. All right, because the last video I showed didn't really show what it could do. Didn't really break it down. So this is that video. All right, um, let's start with the bow. So there is a collapsible function to this with some very high tension springs in these hinges here. Okay, they spring open quite well. Uh, this part is on a, uh, just like in the film, you'll see it's got the multi-latch um, hinge. Uh, and then there's a magnet in the very tip here that allows it to uh, adhere um, to this part to stay closed. Okay, um, same thing on the other side. The core of this is really what I, is probably one of the best things I've created. Um, this ripple feature was all, this entire thing was 3D printed. Um, this part can unscrew at the back, which has houses the laser, uh, which is inside. And then you have four buttons. As you can see, I've already powered it on. And in order to do that, uh, there's a lithium polymer battery in here, um, two wires that I've protected. Uh, the black wire goes into the black wire of the battery, and the, red, or the blue wire goes into the red wire. Uh, of the battery connector there. So black here goes into black, blue into red. Um, and that's going to provide power for the bow. Reason why the bow needs power, well, you've got four buttons on top here. Um, each of them have an, an LED push button inside. So when you press down, uh, the button itself will light up so you know that you're pressing it. Um, and then this top one I've designated as a safety so that if you're gripping the bow, and you're accidentally squeezing these, you're not accidentally triggering their function. So by pushing the, uh, the safety and say the bottom button, uh, that's going to activate the laser. There we go. Okay, um, and that's how you can get your laser sight, which is over there. Okay, so that was the simple function. Now the complex one in order to contain within inside this handle was creating a wireless connection between the bow and the quiver because this is actually selectable. You can load an arrowhead um, onto the shaft simply by using the bow. Now, one thing I thought of was if we're doing this in uh, in the film, okay, he just knows like, oh, change to this one and now I've got the right arrow. There's no way you're gonna memorize which one is next in line. So what I did was I created uh, a forearm band that has your selection of arrowheads. Okay, so I think this is what, poison, this is like a grapple, that's like radioactive or something, maybe explosive. Uh, this one electrocutes, this one has like multi-shot, and this one, instead of that scene where those three prongs come out when it goes onto the uh, the ship, I figured that's not a common U USB is what you want. So I have a a uh, arrowhead in here that matches up uh, for each of those. Um, they're each 3D printed separately. This one is the uh, oh, laser one. Um, then you've got the grapple one here, which oh, I can get out. Um, has three grapple prongs which don't actually uh, grip onto much but they do come out if you want to showcase that um, and then inside each of them so each of them is hollow this is a screw on cap for the back of all 12 arrowheads and uh, there's a neodymium magnet which aligns with the magnet on the bottom of the shaft all right so once you're ready to uh, load your arrowhead all you're going to do press the one you want so let's say i don't know usb that's gonna rotate, let's do that again. So you can, let's go USB, okay. And that's going to align the arrowhead, um, or that arrow, on the end of your shaft here. So what you can see is there's this uh, lever, okay, that can move up and down. Oh, sorry, I just selected another one there. Let's rotate it, ah, that one's fine too. Okay, once it's in the right position, then it's going to be able to go up into that hole under there and pop the arrowhead of your choice onto the awaiting magnetic shaft. So all I have to do, see if I can get all this in the frame here, is squeeze the two buttons on the front of the arrow, on the bow, and that's going to load that. There we go. And it's going to then rotate the shaft so you can remove it from this uh, 
hollow space, the gap, and you can pull the arrow out of there. So that's how you can do uh, what you see in the film, which is loading a custom uh, arrowhead onto your shaft with this quiver. So it's entirely wireless, okay, so uh, this has its own power source for the quiver. And then again, you can select uh, either side with the arrowhead of your choice and load. There you go. So that is my Hawkeye bow and quiver. Now you finally know how it works. Oh, final thing, of course, this whole feature. Let's set this up so we can do a quick demo. Um, I guess one of the defining features of the, uh, the movie was the bow's ability to snap open. So this is actually quite scary. Uh, no matter how many times I do it, I do not enjoy doing it. it. I designed this whole thing to fold up and there's a tiny little metallic clasp that just sits on the end of a bolt. So in order to snap this open, what I've got here is a small latch. It has a metal, let's see if you get it closer, metal latch. And it's going to go on to this end of the tiny little bolt that's hanging out there. Okay, and that's going to hold it all together. So, when you're ready to uh, spring it open, which is still quite startling, all you're going to do is tap it against your wrist. Now if you hold the, uh, the, the cord back here, you can actually pull the two back panels, which simultaneously looks like it's springing open properly. Oh, I still need practice. I'm not the true Hawkeye, but it does work. It just takes uh, you know, a few tricks. Anyways, there you go. That is the Hawkeye bow. There's my laser beam. And uh, thanks for watching.